from 31 Dame Cats and Batman Savannah. This is Jeopardy. <laughs> All right, folks, one daily double behind one of these categories. Rich, you start us off. Sweetness. Rich. Yes. Too tall. Jean. Yes. The bus. Megan. Yes. Megatron. Megan. Yes. Broadway. Rich. Yes. This team has appeared in nine Super Bowls since 1996. They've won six and lost three. Bean. Yes. Because the two head coaches were related to each other and an unexpected third quarter stoppage, this Super Bowl was given many nicknames. Gene. Yes. This team led 20 to 3 in Super Bowl 51 before the unthinkable happened. It haunts fans to this day. Rich. Yes. Why did it come back? These two franchises. When it combined 27 and 0 to start 2009, their offenses led them to Super Bowl 44. Yes. Well, twin 13 0 Saints, 14 0. This defensive minded team nearly shut out the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 48. Denver scored 606 points during that season. Dean. Yes, also known as Legion of Boom. You, you make a selection. These two teams played in what was dubbed the best Monday Night Football game ever, as it featured a 23 point comeback. Megan. That's correct. Miami led 30 to 7. Although it was never published and shouldn't be, these two teams played in what could be the worst Sunday night football game in NFL history. Yes, they play in a 6-6 tie. Make a selection. Before NBC got the rights to Sunday Night Football, these two cable networks had the rights to Sunday Night Football game. Rich. Yes. Three-way tie. This comedian was behind the mic on Monday Night Football for, for two years before ABC cut their losses and let him go in 
2002. Yes. Bitch. The only Saints home game that was not played in Louisiana or Texas in 2005 was played here on a Monday night game on a, on a Monday night days after its originally scheduled uh, eight days after its originally scheduled date. Megan. That's right, East Rutherford. Make a selection, Meg. This former Cowboys quarterback now stands behind the microphone calling games for ESPN. Rich. Yes. Right. After a long coaching career, this man not only went into broadcasting but has a video game named for it. Him. Sadly, he passed away in 2021. Megan. Yes. This Steelers defensive back decided to go into broadcasting after his playing days. His tenure behind the mic lasted only six games before CBS let him go. Gene. Yes. Okay, you have three thousand. These two men, after their stints with Pittsburgh and Miami, now work as studio analysts for the NFL and Fox. That's right, and it takes you to four thousand five hundred dollars. Selection. Founder of the, the American football. This founder of the American Football Conference. Or, uh, this this founder of the American Football League is a trophy name for him that goes to the AFC champion. Megan. Yes, Lamar Hunt Trophy. Selection. Owned by the city, this iconic stadium is nicknamed Frozen Tundra. Rich. Yes. This stadium served as a shelter during Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The team that plays there defeated their bitter rivals when it reopened when it reopened in 2006. That's right. Sharing a parking lot with a baseball stadium that was being used in September 2013 forced the NFL to move the, their, se their season over out of this stadium. It also added a lightning delay in its new location. Rich. Yes, that was after the Ravens won the Super Bowl. After a transformer blew on a Monday night in San Francisco's Candlestick Park, the team revealed plans to move this stadium in Santa Clara. Rich. That's right. You got a hundred and just hundred dollars separating everybody. Recently renamed, this current stadium has hosted multiple Super Bowls. The team has hosted the second most of any team. Rich. You got it in time. You're at six grand. 
In 2018, the Rams and Chiefs scored this many points in a game that was moved out of Mexico. Again. Yes. In 2015, the Giants and Saints combined for this many points that the quarterbacks were dealing that day. Gene. Yes. Playing in bad weather on a Monday night, only a field goal was scored in a game between these two teams. Rich. Yep. Yes, that was during a hurricane. The 2007 New England Patriots finished the season with this record before they were upset by the New York Giants. Rich. Yes. Perfect, perfect record. And the final clue? Peyton Manning led this team to record 606 points in 2013 before losing the Super Bowl. Megan. That's right, and that takes you to 6,000. Gene will select first in double jeopardy. That happens after this. Okay, Gene, it's your pick. This alternative team in North Florida has hosted a Super Bowl, but is one of four teams never to have played one. They've come close many times. Gene. Yes. They are the only team founded before 1995 to have played in the Super Bowl, although their stadium has rescued a couple of teams. Megan. Yes. This team used to be the laughing stock of the NFL following the 2009 season. They made it to the big game but lost to the Rams. Rich. Yes. This team is ra is rarely a mediocre team. They they've had seasons where they went one and fifteen. Other times they played in the big game, losing both times. Rich. Yes, they've been to Super Bowl before. I just can't see the one. While the Iran Football League was in operation, this team was a powerhouse located on the West Coast. Team. That's correct. San Jose Sabercats. Make a pick. This bird NFL team has three mascots, Edgar Allan and Poe. Megan. Yes, named for the author Edgar Allan Poe from Baltimore. As the baseball team with the same name did, this franchise started in St. Louis, it moved west, and now remains in the desert. That's right. They at, they had a team in St. in St. Louis, but they now moved to Arizona, where they are now. <laughs> 
This team's bird logo points to the left to reveal an E on the bird's feathers. That's right, it's the Philadelphia Eagles, and you have 15 grand. Make a selection. Though not Georgia State bird, this bird has been Atlanta's NFL team since its inception. <laughs> Megan. That's right, Atlanta Falcons. Probably named because of of frequent weather pattern, patterns in the city, this bird team ho hoisted the Lombardi Trophy with the help of the Legion of Boom. That's correct, Seattle Seahawks. This team was destined to play in Super Bowl 50, er, 57. They just ran into a bus all losing to the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, well, the Eagles. If this quarterback wants to tell people when not to call him in 2023, he should find out what time Jeopardy airs in New York City. In the end. Yes. This quarterback led the Patriots to six Super Bowl champions, championships in 2000. One to 2018, he then went south and won his seventh in his home team's home stadium before announcing that 2002 would be, would be his final season. Yes, I'm ready. This son of a former Mets relief pitcher has made the Kansas City Chiefs the team to beat in the AFC. He was also involved in 2008. Monday Night Football Thriller. Yes, Patrick Mahomes. Son of Pat Mahomes. Technically, in 2023, it was the bill, this Bill Safety whose heart stopped on the field, leading to cancellation of a huge Monday a Night Monday Football game with playoff implications. They ended up facing each other in the divisional round. Yes, Damar Hamlin. Only an injured neck could stop this man in Indianapolis. A misstep in Super Bowl 48 cost his team two points. Again. Yes. Kate Manning stepped out of the end zone. This former Red Hawk got the starting, for, uh, starting job for the Steelers. He showed the world he could, he could handle the pressure. Megan. Yes, Ben Roethlisberger. These two Packer quarterbacks both started their careers going down the same path. They went from Green Bay to New York Jets. Yes, that's right. Red Favre and Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> okay.
this Dolphins quarterback had an ugly final game, getting trounced 62-7 by their in-state rival Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, and you're at 22,400. Make a selection. Got a big, big lead. This former Vikings quarterback was one of four players charged with disorderly conduct after a 2005 party boat scandal. Megan. Yes. Don't take Cole Pepper. There were three others charged in that, but he was the quarterback. He led the New Orleans Saints to a Super Bowl championship in 2009. Rich. Yes, you got it in time. He was fired by the Broncos in 2022, mostly because he couldn't manage a clock. Yes. Right. Stephen Smith was appalled to hear about the Giants hiring this man, but he made it two years. Bean. Yes, you're right there. Go Judge. He led the Panthers to the big game in 2015, but as Commander's head coach in 2022, he did not know that he was about to be eliminated from playoff contention. Yes, Ron Rivera. This Hall of Fame wide receiver once played for the Green Bay Packers. He has he since called games for Westwood, Westwood Run, Westwood, Westwood One Radio, and CBS Sports. Yes. The voice of the color voice of Westwood One. This wide receiver played for three teams in the late nineties and early two thousand some of his if it, some of his actions resulted in fines and suspensions by the league. Yes. Theo. This flashy Bengals receiver replaced his last name with his jersey number in Spanish. Yes, now known as Chad Ojasinko. This Vikings wide receiver was a playmaker during his playing days. Don't get him confused with the former Georgia Southern quarterback with the same name. Yes. The clues left. 
This former Cowboys wide receiver now works as a studio analyst for the NFL on ESPN. Yes, Michael Irvin. And the final clue. He coached the Bears in the late 90s as head coach of the Buccaneers. In 2002, he took that team to the Super Bowl where they blew out the Raiders. Megan. Yes, and that takes you to $20,000. You are in You're in second place. Gene is in third with 18100 Rich has 24000 and has the lead. So here comes Final Jeopardy. A category for today. <laughs> Delayed games. Let's put in the wages for everyone. And the clue. In 2013, this team was involved in three different delays. One in New Orleans at Super Bowl 47, one in Denver to open the season, and one in Chicago that lasted over two hours. 30 seconds. Good luck. <laughs> Let's take a look at your response. You were in You were in Gene, you were in third place with eighteen thousand one hundred. And that's right, it's the Baltimore Ravens. So what are we gonna add to your score? So you're now at twenty six thousand two hundred. Now we go over to Megan. 20,000 your score. Did she say Baltimore Raven? She did. And she. Where's 19,000? She's at 39,000. Now to Rich, who had the lead of 20, 24,000. And we now have co-champions. Thanks, everybody. See you next time on Jeopardy.